Go ahead. Our mission, Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting parents whose children have passed. Through support and resources offered, we aspire to help individuals become shining light parents, meaning a shift from a state of emotional heaviness to one of hopefulness and greater peace of mind. Helping Parents Heal goes a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and afterlife evidence in a non-dogmatic way. Helping Parents Heal affiliate groups welcome everyone, regardless of religious or non-religious background and encourage open dialogue. Attendance at this meeting is voluntary. We hope that participants will learn from and share with each other. Discussions here are confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Zoom meetings run by leadership are not confidential. These meetings typically feature guest presenters and are posted on YouTube so that affiliate members worldwide can watch and benefit. Neither type of Helping Parents Heal meeting is designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers, allowing parents to learn about many possible ways to heal. This includes presenters covering progressive topics, such as afterlife evidence and connecting with our children who have passed. The views expressed by our guest speakers may or may not reflect the opinions of Helping Parents Heal leaders and members, so we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Welcome, everyone. We're so glad you're here with us this evening, and thank you, Shelley, for be being here. It's always a pleasure to have you. Yes, thank you, Shelley, for being here. And I'll read your very short bio. You have a very short bio and, and for a very long esteemed career. And I am so grateful that you're here with us this evening. Um, Shelley is an intuitive medium, Reiki master, life coach, author, and inspirational speaker. Shelley has an innate ability to meet people where they are while offering a tailored approach intended to bolster their own connection to spirit. She illuminates each person's unique soul and helps individuals reignite their spark while reminding them of the power they behold. During classes and private sessions, she creates a space for empowered transformation and provides practical, actionable tools. Her website is ShellyRWilson.com. And I just want to say she'll be at this conference with us, uh, the one in August. She was at our last conference as well. Um, she's a huge part of Helping Parents Heal. In fact, she raised a lot of money um, by doing Reiki sessions um for parents that uh and the funds went to helping parents heal she's also um always available um she's she's one of one of our favorite people i i would say and so i just want to um say right now if you could please join me and irene and lisa in welcoming shelly wilson do so and thank you for being here shelly Thank you so much, Elizabeth and Irene and Lisa. Thank you for being here as well. I always feel very blessed to be able to present to this wonderful group, and it is something that is very near and dear to my heart. And as I was getting ready this evening, I'm one of those people that I tend to wear lots of black. And I heard from the kids, from spirit, ah, brighten things up, wear yellow, go cut one of those sunflowers in your yard. So I went and did that. And I know, of course, that they are reminding us as well with the sunflower, that's often representative of spiritualism or being a spiritualist. And we think of that religion that believes in life after life, but it's also a reminder too how the sunflower always faces the sun, always looks to the sun regardless of when it is. And I know that with you being shining light parents, and this is a reminder also for us to shine our lights, a reminder to do the best that we can always. And, and just knowing sometimes we may feel challenged but this is a reminder to do our best to be present, breathe, taking that big deep breath and really allowing ourselves to come back to this moment in time. So tonight I'm very blessed once again to be able to make connections 
to your loved ones. I always like to see who comes through rather than working direct in these instances. And keep in mind, everything will come through as a thought, a word, a feeling, an impression. It may be a memory that you have as well. I do encourage you, once again, to write in the chat if the information resonates with you. I want to get you matched up to your loved ones. I have asked all other loved ones to kind of part the path or part the way and let the kids come through. That's what um, I, I always appreciate when they do do that. And just know too, that even though I may not make a direct connection to your loved ones, many times there will be a message that you can receive from the messages that do come through. So I invite all of you at this time, just to take a big deep breath Invite your loved ones to come even closer to you than they already are. And just allow yourself to be present, really feeling that love and that peace. The more that we are all in that state of being, it helps the connection be made with that. At the end, I'll also open up to any questions. So just know that I'll be open to doing that as well. So at this time, I do feel a younger male wanting to step forward. He's coming in and he's showing me um, tanner skin. So this may mean his race is of more tan nature, seeing darker hair. I get a sense too, I want to put him between the age of six to eight. Now I'm seeing him bandaged up. I literally see um, a bandage around his hands, head around his arm, his hands. He's giving me this impression um, that he was involved in an accident that may involve being burned. That is immediately what's coming through very strongly for me, that there may have been some burns with him. And he is giving me this sense too, um, feeling lots in the chest area. So I know, of course, his breathing may have been his lungs be affected as well, even his heart. Um, with this imagery that he's showing me also, um, I, I get a sense too, there may be a separate child wanting to come in as well. I want to focus on this one, but almost getting where maybe they dressed up kind of wrapped in bandages like that, or they play doctor. So I feel like I have two, but I want to focus more on this first one that I'm bringing through. So as I'm describing this, can anyone understand this? And I'm going to get more information, but I want to see who can understand this this thus far so if, if you can take this uh, maybe you could write it in the chat box um, if you have a son in spirit six to eight years old darker hair uh, tanner skin as well as perhaps had um, had some kind of fire uh, where he was burned. I, I feel like he was burned. And as I said, I feel like this may be uh, an accident, maybe even a car accident, but he sustained some injuries, sustained some burns that he would be bandaged up in that way. The other thing that I want to add to that is this may be something that he experienced at that age, but he did not necessarily pass at that age. But this way that he's showing me feels very significant. I was just saying, Shelly, that we've had this happen with you uh, the last it time. Does. We have <laughs> someone take it after. Um, yes, someone they... does. So I, I know not to fret because I, I know this young man is here with me and it, he's showing me, he keeps bringing his hands up and that's why um, my, you know, my other interpretation was, was he bandaged up on his own? Did he want someone to put gauze around him and bandage him up? So I know that my first interpretation wants to go with burns and such, but I also got a sense that this may be almost him dressing up in a different way, but I still feel a lot in the chest and the lungs and the heart area with him. So can anyone understand the second interpretation if you cannot understand the first? But I do see male, I do see um, tanner skin, darker hair as I look at him. Okay. 
Okay, I don't see anyone wanting to, to take this. So what I will do, just as I have done in past experiences, is just let you know that I have him here. He's wanting me, as I said, he keeps bringing his hands up, almost like he's, he's wanting to show them. And as I said, they look like they're covered in mitts. And he does give me this sense too. Um, I, I see uh, a very playful aspect around him, a little bit, maybe even mischievous. And he gives me this sense of love, this sense of peace, almost like, um, as I said, that he's playing. And that's what he wants his loved ones to know, that his presence here is coming through in that way to know that he's at peace and that he's in this playful state. Okay. So. We'll definitely find that out probably tomorrow when we have someone listen to the recording. So right, absolutely. And I just, I, I, I almost think um, that it's kind of just the way that it may work. And I've learned, as I said, not to stress about it. Just receive the information, acknowledge it, and go from there. So that's what I'm going to do. So. I just see Debbie had posted someone about two two young boys that they passed from smoke inhalation, but not burns. But is this someone that she actually knows by chance? No, she said she didn't know the two boys. Okay. So, um, I would I would be amazed that they would come through to you for her. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. I just saw it pop up on the screen. So let's see who else is coming through here. Now I do see a female wanting to come through and I want to put her age. Um, I'm actually hearing 27. Um, so I don't know if 27 is her age specifically, or if it is uh, a day of the month that I'm supposed to recognize, but I do see her. Um, and my daughter is around that same age as well. So I, I kind of see my daughter as I look at her and I get a sense a little bit um, past the shoulder here. I see too that it's lighter in color. I see almost like it's um, been highlighted like a brown with blonde highlights. Could be the summer highlights. I also, when I look at her, I get this sense of um, passing sudden and unexpectedly. I, I do not feel like this was a prolonged health condition. I feel sudden and unexpected with her. And I get a sense too, um, she, she keeps fluffing her hair. So I don't know if this is just a habit that she would have or that she's just um, getting herself prettied because we're talking about her in this moment. Um, but she's giving me this sense almost like even, as I said, like flipping her hair, something about um, a casual aspect is how I want to describe it. The other thing when I tune in, I'm getting... A name. And when I hear names, it's not always their name. So please keep that in mind. But I'm hearing the name Lauren or Laureen. I feel like there could be an in an E on the end of that. Um, when I tune into her also, I do feel, um, as I said, lots of heart connection. And this, of course, may be heart health issues, but this could also mean energetically that she loved big, had a big heart, very compassionate with her. Um, she she keeps showing me, as I said, um, almost like these, this image is one that has been photographed um, or this moment has been photographed. It, it's like um, posed is how I want to describe it. And I get a sense to nature. There's something about her being very much a nature lover. I'm not seeing her um, with makeup on. So I feel very natural with her. If she did wear makeup, I feel like it was very minimal. Um, and she's just kind of uh, dabbing her lips. So I feel like if anything, it may be some lip gloss or um, lip... <laughs> Chapstick, that kind of thing on her lips, keeping her lips fresh. So can anyone understand this? And as I said, don't hold on to the name that it has to be the name, but I feel like that is a connector name or has something with that. So um, let's see, Darlene is saying my daughter was like this, uh, like this all except for the name and then Sabrina was sudden and unexpected this is uh John and Mara okay. no makeup 20 years old okay. so um 
with the description with the the blonde and brown hair can either one of those understand that and i know we can change our hair colors um but i i feel like there's something either this image that she's showing me her knees are even almost kind of brought up that's why it looks like a pose her being photographed in in what she's showing me so yeah, darlene is saying yes yes so um, would you like for us to bring Darlene on? Yeah, let's bring Darlene on. Okay. So let's... And Darlene and Laureen are kind of close. I'm not going to say this is absolutely, but they're they're kind of close the way they sound. So Darlene... I've asked her. She's unmuted, Elizabeth. Okay. okay can you say hi, Darlene? Hi, Shelly. Hi, Darlene. Can you understand the name uh, or not the name, the, the number 27. Can you understand that with your daughter? No. Okay. Everything else you can understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So rather than repeating it, um, can you understand that there's something where she would have either had a head, in head injury or she had a lot of stress or some kind of headache, something with the head going on also? Yes, ma'am. Okay, um, because as soon as I um, tuned in and you came on, I felt that there. Can I get your daughter's first name, please? Autumn. Autumn, okay. So let's build um, Autumn's energy. Now, as I'm tuning in, I am feeling those physical sensations, which is often validation for me of making a connection. Now, are you feeling them as well, Darlene? I have goosebumps on my whole body. Okay, that would be a yes that you're feeling those because to me that is is a way that they can connect with us. Now, right away, she is giving me this sense. It's almost like um, she wants to take your hand. She wants to hold your hand. There's something about she's telling me that she needs to carry you through or lift you up, or maybe she's wanting to pull you up out of that chair as well. There's something almost like, mom, come with me. I, I want to show you this. She gives me a sense too, like she wants to dance around you. So do you remember her just being very light and playful? and wanting to dance as well okay because she does give me uh this sense like she doesn't want you to remember um anything that felt heavy anything that felt dense she said that's not me it's almost like she wants you not that you need to erase it but that she wants you to go back to where you're feeling um more of that joy state with her she's showing me too like um a I think of a ballerina or somebody that puts their um, hand in, and then does their own twirl. So I, I'm just seeing um, that happening. And maybe she would have someone twirl her around because I'm just seeing bringing the hand up to the head and spin around in that way also, okay? Um, she keeps showing me lots of trees. So of course, I, I go back to that nature connection. Now, on your place, do you have a lot of trees also? A lot of trees. Okay. We live in Alaska, 20 acres. Oh, goodness. Okay. And her so, favorite flower is the sunflower. She is known for her sunflower. Ah, perfect. And I'm getting more chills with that. So I, I know Autumn was probably part of that inspiration that I received prior to coming on to go bring one, to share one with the group too. And and even thinking too, you know, as I said, the, the sun, the sunflower faces the sun, turns to the light. And so there is a lot of symbolism with that as well. Um, she She's wanting to say too, it, it's like, um, mom, my heart is connected to yours always. It's like she wants you even to, as you bring your hands to your heart, feel that connection and love to her as well. Now, is there someone else with you in the space? Is it her father? That's dad. Dad, okay. Well, dad, we want to want to bring you in here as well. So I know that um, Autumn is, is just, you know, once again, giving me the sense. Now, was there something about fishing with nets? like cast fishing or something like that, because she she's showing me almost like bringing that in, like you taught her how to do it, or maybe she taught you a, an easier way, but she's showing me. And if anything, I know that when you do that going forward, this is a reminder too of how she's with you. One thing that I want to remind both of you and everyone in this space that 
they come through in memories. They're, they're letting us know they're right here. So I know that it's very important that you know that as well. She keeps showing me looking at the sun, looking to the sky, the rainbows, the clouds. So I know a huge way that she does communicate with you is in that way. So just look to the skies is what she's saying. And I feel really emotional. She says, I love you both so much. And just thank you. Thank you for everything. So I know how important it is that you feel her love. You know that her presence is with you and keep talking to her. That's what's really important as well. Okay. So thank you both. I'm going to leave that with you. Thank you for, for understanding who was coming through. And I'm going to leave that with you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so oh, it's so wonderful about the sunflower too. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Um, and the, the fishing was really important. We, um, we're, we're getting ready to go dip netting, which is an Alaska fishing thing. And we were talking about it today. It's something Autumn absolutely loved to do with her dad. So when you said something about fishing, I was just like, oh my God. Yes. And she was showing me the net. So yeah. I I was I wasn't getting the reel. I was getting a net. So I and it's I love very that. Alaskan. That's very unique. You, that's you hit it on the head right there. Okay. And I'm in Oklahoma, so I probably <laughs> yeah. have never done that before. Um, mm -hmm. what what I want to say too is to me, this is wonderful validation that she's been with you today as you've been talking about it, even as you've been thinking that this is her one of her favorite things to do. So I love that. Chills three times since talking to you. Okay. Thank you, Shelley. And continue to take note of the chills because they are pure love, pure energy. They're going to blend with you. So the more that you recognize them when you're experiencing them, it helps to build that energy as well. You'll get more of them. So you know, we, we want to feel their presence more often and that's the way to do it. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. Much welcome. love. Much love to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you both. That was so wonderful. How exciting. Hey, so I know that you said someone else understood part of the message, right? Yes. Somebody else uh, was understanding. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have to go back and find that person, though. Was it, did I see Sabrina or John, something like that? Hmm. It's John and it's Sabrina. And yeah, Sabrina was younger. Okay. <clears throat> because you... as we know, too, um, I often tend to get those that join forces that tend to create that ripple to that bring forward more that are similar. That's wonderful. Okay, and I see them unmuted here. So here. Yes, John and Mara, is that how you say it? Yes. Okay, so with this, did you understand most everything initially? Not, not when I was giving the autumn information, and maybe you understood part of that too, but most everything except the name and perhaps the number 27. Yes, we did. Okay. Okay, so I see Sabrina, and so let's let's build her energy here. Now, can you understand too that um, passing was sudden and unexpected? I think I said that before. And also, was there something because I'm feeling lots in the head again this time as well? Um, so whether it was an injury or a lot of stress or headache, but you can understand that too. Okay, yes. so I'm yes. feeling her, and I get a sense with her now. I want to take this big, deep breath and put my shoulders back. I get a sense that there was something about posture that maybe she liked to stand up tall, head forward, shoulders back, um, something. Uh, and the, the right word is not coming in, but I, I want to use the word that she had great posture, that she had a presence about her. Um, did she model by chance too, or like her picture taken a lot? Maybe so, yes. but I, I just feel like there's a pose or something, you know, right, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. There's something about getting the right angle that she's telling me. Okay. Like you oh, gotta, you gotta do it right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She had the most incredible posture. Um, she was, she's very beautiful and surprisingly for her age, 
Um, she she stood up straight all the time. Okay. Now, did she look older than her age or carried herself older, more uh, wiser? Something about that, too. Okay. Yes. We say she's an old soul. Old soul. That was the next word in my mind is, is sometimes we use the term old soul. Um, and, and when I feel her energy also, um, she's giving me a sense almost I'm seeing her in a, in a graduation gown. So I feel like there's some connection to graduation, um, some connection even to um, college scholarship something because she's showing me holding something which I think of as a diploma but this may be another recognition coming forward everything you just said <laughs> she, uh, she graduated high school and had a scholarship to Delaware University okay okay so I I know that um and I'm getting the chill so I have to ask you are you getting physical sensations where you can validate that not just knowing it but physically feel it too Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I always like to point that out because the more, once again, that we tune into things, our um, clairsentience, which means clear feeling, it heightens that up more. She's showing me rings. So did she tend to wear a lot of jewelry also, liked her rings? Um, she did. And I wear her ring now. We wear them. Okay. Because I I knew that that, that was going to be my next thing, um, or I, I have a feeling you're really tuned in, maybe more so than what you realize also. So the more that you can even continue to talk to your beautiful daughter, ask her what she's doing, ask her what she wants you to know, it, it's almost like, because she's showing me flipping papers over. And of course, I can think of documents, but I can think of taking notes or going through writings. This can even be like a manuscript where you're flipping the actual pages over as you look at them. So can you understand that in any way? Possibly. Well, yes, well, <laughs> we do a lot of reading. So okay, okay. Probably. so that can be if it's, if it's not a book, but I see actual pages um, being turned over, like looking at one um, and, and flipping it over after you've finished reading it. So uh, once again, that could just be indication of lots of reading information in that way as well. The, the other thing she's showing me are like sea turtles and um, other little oh. turtles. So I feel like that is a huge oh. way that she connects with you also. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm wearing a bracelet right now. Uh -huh. Her sorority sisters made on her birthday and sold for a scholarship. Um, and they have sea turtles in it and um, sand dollars and her favorite color blue. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So um, I'm getting more chills as you're validating that as well. So if anything, um, to me, that's another way that she recognizes. She's she's saying, yes, I love this, but I feel like it's her way of recognizing what has been done on her behalf as well and, and doing that. And I, I just feel too, because there's something about... Um, I, I see her like on the beach. And of course I think of sand dollars and sea turtles on the beach, but she's showing me like her hair blowing. So I don't know if there's actually a video taken of her um, moving <laughs> on the beach and it could be a selfie, but I see actually enough breeze that got almost like if there's a fan in front of her blowing her hair in that way. So I, I feel like if anything, she's bringing forth a memory as well. But I have a feeling that's what she wants you to recognize as her heaven. Also, to, to me, it's almost like she always needed to be near the water or feet in the sand. Or that's where she she's telling me about being a mermaid. So I, I think that there's something <laughs> about that also. She's a boater and a jet skier, and she okay. loved the, water. the wind in her <laughs> hair. hair. When okay. she was jet skiing. Her hair's on fire. And that's yeah. that's her jet skiing, and that's you were right on. Uh, that's okay. Wonderful. Well, I know she is just smiling from ear to ear. I, I know that she wants you to know that she loves you so much. She she just gives me this sense of um, you know, just love. Once again, it, it's almost like sometimes we wonder, are they happy? How are they? And and I just feel like she's in a great place. It's like if she can't be here physically with you, she wants you to know that she's absolutely in that state of being where her heaven is jet ski on the water. Um, 
in the water, walk in the beach, all of that. Okay. Awesome. It's everything we needed to hear today. Thank you. <laughs> you just and made just, my day. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, keep talking. And of course, Father's Day is coming up on Sunday. So, you know, there, there's going to be lots of messages. And she's she's showing me an image too, almost like sky riding. So I have to go back what I, I said earlier as well. Um, but look at the clouds. Pay attention. This could be birds coming in too. But I heard sky riding specifically. It's jet, it's jet ski trails. <laughs> okay. Yes, we look at the sky all the time. And we notice trails and we say that's her jet ski. Ski trail. Perfect. Oh, I love that. But, well, thank you both. And I'm going to leave that with you. Perfect. Thank you. That thank was great. You. Thank, thank you. you. So John and Mara are our new North Shore affiliate leaders in um, Long Island. And they just had a wonderful meeting two nights ago. So... Oh, cool. um, and they had 19 people come to the first meeting. So it's very exciting that they'll be doing this. If anybody's in the North Shore of Long Island and would like to join them, please do next month. And sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, but I just wanted to get oh, out. That, that's important because, too, both of you, you know, as you're navigating this journey, you're helping others to heal as well. So the more that you find peace and joy and, and knowing, too, as always, there may be days that are easier to navigate, that feel lighter and brighter, and other days that may be not as easy. So you're helping others to understand this journey. All of you are. And, and remember, too, as you continue to shine your lights and really do your best, do the best you can, um, this is a reminder, too, you remind other people that that's what they can do for themselves as well. So... With Thank that, you. yes, with absolutely. that, good. That was awesome. Thank you so much. We Thank needed you. that today. Good, good. I, 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 I story again, which would be wonderful. <laughs> you guys know how to do that. Thank you so much. Yes, and, and the other thing I just want to remind everybody as well is to trust. Absolutely trust when you get those thoughts coming in, the images, the feelings, the impressions the memories, and even stuff that you don't remember, but they are showing to you, you've got to be, be willing to trust that because that's how our loved ones communicate with us. And anyone can make that connection. It's always nice to have someone validate what you know, but it's really wonderful when you experience it for yourself. So remember that. Okay, good. So I have a mail coming through this time and lots of feelings in the heart again there's kind of a theme tonight lots of feelings in the heart and when i look at this mail i immediately want to use the word big and burly i get a sense too um that he was a gentle giant uh, uh bear of a guy and when I look at him I want to put him late teens early 20s could be a little bit older than that I see his hair um kind of curly um and I just he, I feel like either he worked out or he was just kind of genetically a, a bigger guy you know because I don't necessarily see the definition in the muscles but I see the broad shoulders Kind of think of linebacker is the word that I want to use. And maybe he did play football. I don't want to say absolutely, but he gives me that feeling of that. Almost, um, and I'm being shown the Hulk. So I don't know if they're um, thinking of the Incredible Hulk, if there's some connection to this young man as well. And he is giving me a sense too. Um, I feel like that his passing was also sudden and unexpected. I, I get a sense that there may have been um, some heart issues, breathing issues. I feel like it's almost like um, he either passed in his sleep or he passed out and then he made his transition because he's giving me this sense of collapsing. So um, as I'm describing him, can anyone understand this um, thus I far? Do. There, um, <clears throat> everything fits for Morgan, but I hate for Morgan to take up time, but mm -hmm. um, I know Morgan came through last time. This, this energy, when I look at him, um, he, he gives, I don't know if Morgan did the incredible Hawk. Did he do that or make his arms like this too? 
say the Incredible Hulk for one of his Christmas, I mean, his um, Halloween things. Okay. Uh, but I, okay. I, it looks like uh, Samsung is saying my son Corey is a big guy, very sudden passing. He was in a coma. So um, I, I right. certainly um, want. So as we know, Elizabeth, take what resonates. And we know Morgan yeah. is walking this journey with you. And I have a feeling he's probably helping bring through this other young man as well. So okay. who who is the person that this is connected to? Uh, that's me, okay. Jennifer. Jennifer, okay. And so can I have your son's first name, please? Corey. Corey, okay. And so with Corey, does the age make sense? Everything else resonate with he you also? 26. Okay. And did his, um, you said he was in a coma, correct? Yeah, he, um, he coded and so they had him on respirator. Okay. And was there and he, had, he had asthma and breathing issues. Okay. Okay. Thank you for acknowledging that. Now, does it make sense too, um, as I said, with the physique or being a linebacker? Yes. Hulk, he's all he's of that too. Guy. Did he actually have some neck pain or injuries yes. also? Okay. Because he's bringing my awareness to acknowledge that too. Did he have a hard time... Um, almost like sitting up straight or something where it just was too painful for him, something like that also. Probably, yeah. Okay. Moving my kitty who jumped up here. <laughs> okay, apologize for that. Um, so bringing Corey and as I'm tuning in with that, there's something also um, you already talked about the breathing because I can mm -hmm. feel the restriction in the chest, the throat, the airways, all of that too. And he, yes. he is giving me the sense about feeling that heaviness. So we know with asthma, it will often feel as if um, someone may be sitting on their chest. They have a hard time yes. breathing in that way. Now, he does show me the month of October to recognize. Can you understand that with him? Birth. Yeah, that's October. his birthday. Okay, so I know he's bringing that forward in as well. He also is giving me this sense too um, of, a, of a type of scooter. I, I don't know if this is actually a three-wheeler, a four-wheeler, or scooter. Do, do you remember him having one at some I bought I bought him a scooter when he was about 12 years old that he rode up and down the street, yeah. Okay, did he even ride it when he was like too big for it also by chance? Possibly, yeah. <laughs> okay, because I, I see him like something on this on something that is too small is how I want to describe it. That's why I immediately think, okay, what is this? And it almost feels like a mini bike or something, but it's um he he's he's bigger than perhaps what should be. But he he says I rode it just fine. So <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna know that he knew how to handle it. Now Corey, as he's coming through, because he wants to give you um his love. Now it's like he's leaning into you, puts his arm around your shoulder. I feel like this could be his way of saying the height difference also, but it's like he's coming in and he's also giving me this sense too about um, picking you up. Now, did he ever actually physically pick you up? No. Okay. Then this has to be more symbolic where he's saying, lift you up, pick you up bring your spirits up. Okay. Um, I, I feel like it's almost like, and maybe you've been thinking about him a lot, missing him a lot, missing his physical presence, but it's almost like he wants to just pick you up, lift you up, help to bring you some more of that lightness. And he, he's talking about needing to laugh more. Um, so even thinking about uh, some of the, I think of, of baby videos or dog videos, things that um, we can't help but laughing about. So whether you've watched some of those or maybe he's saying, hey, mom, watch some of these. There's something about he wants you to feel lighter or bring a smile to your face or laugh more. And maybe it's okay. all like that. Okay? okay. Of course, it may be hard to do, but I do feel like it's like he he's wanting to, to help to bring you that state. He's showing me a wreath on a door as well. And I, of course, think of welcome. Um, also at Christmas time, sometimes people put wreaths up. Yeah, we um, used to, yes. Okay, so he's showing me, showing me this wreath. And once again, it may have 
uh, another meaning, um, but, it, but it could be representing also just those memories of doing that as well. The, the other thing that he's showing me too is like his feet next to your feet. And of course, there's got to be a size variance or difference as well. Um, but I feel like there's something now. Do you still have like a pair of his boots or tennis shoes? Something like I that? Do. Okay. Um, have you by chance got him out and put your foot next to him or anything? Um, he has a one sandal left in his room. I don't know where the other one is. But I, when I go in his room, I always put my foot in his sandal. Okay. Okay. Thank you for that. Because I know he wants you to know that he knows that you're doing it, that he sees that you're doing. And if anything, he's kind of laughing about it too, because he's like, yeah, mom, I, you always do it. Why don't you just take it to your room? You know, but, but there is something about having that um, item, that um, connection to him. Absolutely. Good. So I want to leave you with that. Thank you so much Thank for you. speaking up and bringing Corey through. Thank you, Shelly. Yes. And now I've got my cat joining me in the back here. So I'm going to gently move her. There we go. Um, I see Alicia just popped up. She says this goes with her son as well. So let's go ahead and get Alicia on here. Alicia. Sure. I'll ask her to unmute. You. Hi, Alicia. Can you say something, please? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Is it working? Yes, we see okay, you. Yes. Yeah. So what is your son's name? Cole. Cole. And you could understand most everything as I was describing for Corey also? Yeah, a lot of, of that message feels was for you. Okay. Yeah. And Corey Cole, we got two letters that are, are the same as well. So I'm just asking Cole to, to come through a bit stronger as well so I can separate the energies and bring forth a message for you. Now, do you recognize that there that he um, may hold things in because I'm feeling a lot of tension tightness in the jaw mm -hmm. and it may mean that he actually had some teeth pain or that he would grind his teeth, clench his jaws, but it could mean too that he may hold things in, not say everything or express himself. Can you understand yeah. that with him? Yeah, he okay. was like that. Okay. Um, I just feel it. Does this perhaps be something that you may do as well? You tend to keep things yeah. in to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I knew it could be both. That's why I was like, does this make sense with you too, Alicia? Um, the other thing that I, I pick up from Cole, his energy, I almost, I want to say soft. And I know soft may be an unusual word to say with a guy. Um, but once again, I, I got this feeling of, you know, softy, kindness, big heart, lover, you know, all of this coming through. And it's like, um, you know, you being very proud to be his mother. It, it's almost like, um, you know, I, I can see you beaming as you think of him, beaming as you look at him and and just this sense of pride. And, and I, I feel too that he's wanting to recognize you for helping to lay that foundation for him, you know, almost like, um, you know, you showed him the way is what he's telling me. You showed him how to be a man. You showed him how to be that kind person. So I know that he's grateful to you for that. He's also showing me um, like going through letters. So have you been going through mail, letters, cards, something like that? Yeah. Okay. So that's his way of saying that he knows this mom, that he's with you as you do it. And there's something, I don't know if you're trying to organize it or make sense of it or, you know, put it in, in some kind of order, but, but he's saying, just, just put it all together. You know, it's almost like part of the joy and, and part of the memory is as you go through each one, you, you know, it's like, what will I read next? What will I find next? He keeps showing me too, like pictures of him all throughout school throughout the ages. So I feel too, um, you know, once again, you can reflect on it, but you may actually physically touch these pictures as well as you look at it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And lastly, he's talking, of, he's showing me the, the color green. And of course I'm seeing gators. So I, I don't know if there's a mascot or actually alligators or green has some meaning. So can you understand that in any way? Or maybe a stuffed animal that's an a alligator. 
I do a little bit, not with the alligator, but with the color green for sure. Okay. So yeah. I, I want to leave you with that. His heart is connected to your heart. Once again, lots of love. And I, I just get this sense of him being so grateful to you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're Big welcome. chills too. Good, good. So once again, that is absolutely validation of, of making that connection as yeah. well. Yeah. Good. Thank you. So I, I'm curious I if anyone else by chance then at the very end could understand any of that along with the alligator, a plushed alligator, an actual alligator, the color green, it being a mascot, anything like that. So maybe just put it in the chat box if you can. Okay. We won't spend any more time because I want to bring through another one before um, this hour is over because it does seem to go by very quick. I do feel a younger child wanting to come through at this point. And I want to put them, I'm literally seeing the age of three. So I get a younger, and I'm not quite sure at this moment if it's male or female as I look at them. Um, I do get a sense, of course, um, toddling, moving, all of that too. But I, I feel like um, that this child um, had some health issues. I'm seeing them without hair. And I know sometimes it takes a while for hair to grow in, but I feel like this could indicate treatment, a cancerous condition and so on. If they did not pass at that age of three, I feel like they started experiencing health issues at that time. Um, I want to put more female with them only because I'm seeing some pink or like a footsie pajamas um, that is a lighter pink color with it. It, um, wanting to, to recognize that too. Okay. Um, I just want to say very quickly, while we have a little pause, Corey had a green alligator dragon when he was little and he, uh, she used to read stories to him. He loved okay. it. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sorry. So I, I knew that had to fit in somehow, some way. <laughs> So um, if anybody can take this younger child who is probably mm -hmm. a girl, uh, three years old, perhaps treatment, uh, health issues, pink foot, uh, footsie pajamas. Yes. And I see lighter colored eyes. So I want to go with blue and, and I see dimples. So when I, I look at this child, she just has such a beautiful spirit, beautiful energy. And she she's giving me this sense that she didn't let anything stop her. I, I just feel like, um, you know, that, that of course, um, with her young age, she only um, had limited understanding of what she was experiencing. But I also feel like she taught her parents a lot. It, it's almost like, um, you know, she was, she's telling me she was there to show them the way. And I see her clutching a stuffed animal too. It's lighter in color. So I immediately want to put it as, as a rabbit, because I can see bunny ears with it, but it may be something similar um, to a, to a bunny with that. Okay. So if anybody takes this, let us know. I'm not seeing anyone speaking up. So I, I just, as I said, I feel. Um, we, do have, we do have someone. Okay. Um, my iPhone is saying my daughter had blue eyes diagnosed at a young age and had a light pink puppy stuffed animal, but mm -hmm. she didn't pass yeah. at that age. Okay. That, that is, um, let's, let's bring her on because I have a feeling that she's feeling the connection too. Okay. So. It's hard where there isn't a name. Hold on. Yeah, let's um make sure that when you come in, you name your name yourself so that we don't have a hard time finding you after. Okay. I, it's it's me. I'm sorry. Okay. That's Samantha. Okay. Hi, Samantha. And Hi. tell me your daughter's name. Uh, her name was Ava. Ava. Okay. And and so she was diagnosed at the age of four, but she did not pass at that age. No. Okay. 
um, because I, I had a, a feeling that it could be that possibility as well. But she does give me this sense of, of beginning treatment or having diagnosis, something like that also. Okay. Um, as I'm feeling into Ava, um, and you recognized it was a pink puppy dog. So did it have floppy ears? Yeah. Like a builder bear, maybe one of those. It was a light pink uh, dog. And it's, it's ironic. I was just looking at a picture of her today with okay. that puppy at yeah, that age. Maybe not so ironic, maybe a synchronistic that it was actually perfect timing coming in. Um, and, and when I feel her energy, I, I just, as I said, I get this sense a positivity, almost like she was making everybody else feel good, you know, almost like assuring, um, holding your hand because she's telling me, mommy, it's going to be all right. I'm all right. It's going to be all right. This feeling of wanting to comfort you, let you know she's near. And, and even as you said, you looked at her picture holding that bunny today or that puppy that I thought was a bunny, um, that to me, that's her way of saying, she knows that she's with you as you do that. She's wanting, she's showing me like handprints. And I don't know if these are actually like paint put on paper or if it was like put in plaster and, and that. So did you either use paint and paper or some project maybe that she did when she was little? Sometimes I know we like to just trace their hands too with a marker or crayon. Can you remember doing anything like that, Samantha? Um, I'm sure we did, but okay. uh, the, the holding of the hands, we I have many <clears throat> pictures of the two of us just holding hands, holding hands. just okay. the hands. Okay, because I, I know she's definitely bringing my awareness to the hands and there is something, as I said, um, remembering the hands, if anything is the message, remembering the hands. And she's showing me too, um, do you actually have a piece of jewelry that either has her name on it or has a part of her with it or you feel connected to her when you wear it? I, uh, mm. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, because she 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 wants to call you mommy, of course. And, and I just feel too that um, it, it's almost like even maybe as you touch that, you hear her because she tells me you can hear her. So whether you hear her audibly or hear her in your mind, she's validating that for you. Um, she she says though, sometimes my mommy thinks she's crazy. So I, I just, I know how important it is for you to be able to trust that feeling and trust that connection also. Okay. She's showing me light purple as well. I know the pink puppy but was lavender light purple was that one of her favorite colors or how her room was decorated or an no, outfit she would wear that's no that's my favorite color actually <laughs> okay that's yours okay yeah so I, I I know that once again she is recognizing that too and there's something also because she's just showing me lots of hearts so I feel like that is of course a message of love but perhaps the hearts are a way that she communicates with you. And I, of course, think of heart stickers as a big way, but I want to go with heart rocks and, and anything else that may be heart shaped. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So I want to leave that with you, Samantha. Ava says, I love you so much, mommy. I love you so much. And, and I just feel her too. She's around you a lot. The more that you talk to her, feel her presence, the more that it's going to continue to build that connection too. Thank you very much. And keep looking at the pictures. Keep looking at it. Okay. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for speaking up as well. Thank you. Goodness, Thanks. that was wonderful. So um, we have, I guess, about five minutes. And I was going to see mm -hmm. if you wanted to do another one or maybe do a guided meditation. Yes. To Let's go ahead and just... Everyone, I invite you just to get very present once again. Just take that big, deep breath. Focus on breathing in those energies of peace and love and ease and compassion. And as you're guided to, bring your hands to your heart and just feel that love that you have for your child and that love that they have for you. Feeling their presence breathing in that love and that connection. And as you exhale, 
Do your best to let go of any doubt that you may have. Sometimes our humanness wants to come in and analyze what we're experiencing. And this is a reminder to trust, to love, to feel the love, to be the love. And know that you're helping others as well to make that connection. When you're ready, just open your eyes and know that connection will remain. I encourage you to take note of those number sequences, those signs in nature, the beautiful messages that come through, the birds, the butterflies, the dragonflies, the number sequences, those songs that come into our awareness. Those are all beautiful ways that your children are making that connection to you. So continue to talk to them and continue to trust those impressions that come into your mind. That's their way of saying, I'm with you. I'm here. That's beautiful. I just want to tell you, everyone's writing in the chat box. Thank you so much. That this was wonderful this evening. Um, Alicia is saying, thank you so much, Shelly. What an amazing session, not just for my son coming through uh, to you, but the evidence you provided for all of the other parents was incredible. Much love and gratitude. Um, so everyone's saying thank you. I um, Let's see. Uh, Debbie saying last month in a gallery reading, you brought forth something that has come through. Thank you. So that's always fun. Oh, to good. A lot of times uh, people might not know and then they find out later, which is always an exciting thing. But again, anyone who got a validation story, if you could send it to me at Elizabeth at HelpingParentsHeal.org so that I can uh, add it to the newsletter. That would be wonderful. Thank you again for being here. And we always ask everyone to unmute and say thank you and good evening. So um, let me just make sure everybody can unmute. I think they can. Yeah. So, thank <laughs> let's, you. It was. So thank you, Shelly. This was thank wonderful. You. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much, Shelly. Thank you, Shelly. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. We'll Bye -bye. see you next time. Take care.